Hey guys, Battle Free here, and I'm back with the second episode of Let's Look at War Thunder. So today I'm actually going to be joining a game and showing you some mechanics, uh, how you play, uh, sort of graphics you'll see, um, and the weapons and stuff like that. So hopefully I'll uh, entertain you with this video and give you a bit more of insight on this game of whether you should download it or not, and make up your opinion of why you should get it or not. Hopefully I'll do okay in this. Every time you join a game, you do not join halfway through. You always join at the start of a game. You never join halfway through, which is really good. So you're not joining in halfway through. First of all, with this, you have when you first start, you'll have three respawns. When the when the plane is broken and been destroyed, you cannot go back go back in that plane for the rest of the game. So try and stay alive as long as possible. Also, you can talk to your team and your enemies here. In your spectator mode, where you can see the rest of the team. So I'm using my Spitfire here, and we'll start flying, just wait to spawn in. So here you can see, there's a lot of people in playing right now. I think you can have, I don't know, you can have quite a few a team. So it is good. So here I'm in my Spitfire, hope I do okay. Top left, you see the speed, the throttle. So here I'm overdoing it, and here I'm lowering it. And then there's the altitude, so how high and low I'm going. I don't know what instructor means, but... I think that's uh, when the instructor comes in and says you're doing something wrong, but I don't really think it is. So here is where you have enemies and there's three views. You can go cockpit, first person, like complete first person and third person, which is really good. So this game I've been playing at the moment is where you have to destroy the enemy forces. So here I have three, four people coming down on me, but I've got some people behind me, so hopefully they'll back me up in a bit. So I've got to try and stop these people from destroying my, basically our, our forces. So here I'm coming down now. And then you'll see this little this little circle. And you see you got hit there. And when you're going you're gonna want to try and shoot in that circle. So when you try and shoot in that circle, you're most more or less guaranteed to hit them. And now you've got to hit them quite a bit to kill them. So hopefully we can do that. So here. I usually shoot in first person, uh, in cockpit view, but I didn't do that because I didn't really have enough time to switch. And you also get enemy kill assist, so here my team is literally just flown down now to help me out or stop the team from getting yeah, see, I destroyed someone there, which is pretty decent. But now I'm getting shot from the enemy team, so now hopefully I can get away or try and get this guy down. With this game, you get a thousand, thousand points or a thousand lions every time you kill someone and you get some XP. So you gain XP, uh, you can get XP for getting kills and just destroying forces. This is good, so it brings a whole new aspect to the game, so you're not just leveling up overall, you're actually leveling up for your country or whoever you play as. So this guy's in the P-shirt at the moment, and see I got him, which is pretty decent, I'm not, I'll never really usually be this good. So now we've removed, more or less we've removed some of the forces from... Oh, see I actually destroyed him because I fired a rocket, but I also died. So now, with this, my Spitfire is dead. I cannot use that anymore. When I click on it, I cannot use it. So this is where your other planes come into play. Once all these are done, you just have to leave the game. And then you'll get all your XP and stuff you've received through it. So now I'm in my Hurricane MK2. <laughs> and I've just remembered I should have rockets on this. I have rockets on this. So basically on that one, I was just blind firing when I was pressing, looking at the keyboard to press R because I'm relatively new to the game. But I get lucky on that one. So with this, you can click in your scroll button. And you'll lock onto a target. You can then hold the right mouse button. And you'll zoom in. It also show how far they are away from you. So he is 4.4 kilometers away from me. So that's quite far away. So we're going to want to go for someone a bit closer so we can protect our AA and stuff like that. So this guy's getting closer every minute. Let's go into first person and see if we can get this guy. See, every time you get hit, you get XP and money. So you got 50 lines and 10 XP for that, which is pretty cool. So even if you don't kill them, you'll still get some points for it. So here, the team are doing pretty. Well, they're surrounding our left side, but we are getting them a bit more on the the right side. As you see, our team is down there. So I'm gonna forget about these guys. I'm gonna try and help out these guys down here. So here, there, AA, AA, and then there's a pillbox. But the pillboxes, you're gonna want to use attackers for them because they're really hard to get down, and you need bombs to get them down. So 
when situations like this, you want to get a good angle, and when you come into the Kalama region, you want to start shooting. And you'll get points, but you've got to be careful as well, because you, you'll start getting shot at this point. And also, the team will stop to try and protect their thing as well, so. But here, I'm just going to try and get as many, destroy as many stuff as I can. Also, there's these heavy tanks, you've got to try and destroy these. See, the enemy are starting to do pretty well of uh, holding us back now. See, I destroyed him. And now I'm going to quickly try and destroy one of these AAs. Oh no, and now I've got to reload, which is really bad. Because now I am defenseless in the enemy's spawn. So I've got to try and hope that I can maneuver myself out of this. Or that someone from my team can come back and just try and help me. So now I'm going to try and slow down to make the enemy go a lot faster than me and just try and overtake me so I can then get behind him. So this guy's finding it really hard to shoot at the moment because... Well... So... Ah... Oh, so there's times like that where... There's when the game can be really annoying. Because people will do that on purpose, they'll purposely fly into you. So now I have two planes left so I've got to be as extra careful as I've got... I've only got two planes left and once they're gone, they're gone. I cannot come back into the game or anything. So... As I was saying, some people just do this on purpose, so they fly into you, and then you, your plane's dead, your wing can go, and you're done for. There's no way you're going to get uh, try and recover yourself unless you can quickly land at an airbase, but that is very hard uh, when you're that far away. Also, you can actually uh, go to your base, which is mine's there. So basically, if I'm running low on uh, rockets, or basically my airplane's really badly injured, you can just go there and land, and you'll have to wait a few seconds where it'll respawn your airplane uh, all fixed and stuff like that so you'll be able to you sit off and with a fresh new airplane basically so that's my team I'm getting pretty close now they have got 37 uh, things <laughs> vehicles now of stuff we've got to destroy but our team is dominating their right side so th this is things where uh, the heavy tanks and stuff really come into play in the pillboxes because you need bombers for that, and you can't take them out on ordinarily with these uh, sort of fires unless you buy the bombs. So it is quite hard. You'd, you'd have to sort of communicate with your team. But you can sometimes, sometimes some of these will be AAs. See if we can go on here. No, nope, unfortunately these all, they weren't AAs. But here I can try and just support my team. Uh, if any, any any enemies from this way, I can destroy them. So look, this one here, this, this guy's trying to get him. I'll see if I can help him. That guy didn't hit me there and that would have completely destroyed me. <laughs> also, this is another thing I do find really handy of the game. Is that top top left, there's a mini FPS counter. And that's, that shows how much FPS you get in a game. So at the moment, I've got, I'm getting 30 because I've got V-Sync on at the moment. But... And then well, I found that really helpful, so you know if you're getting a bit of frame lag or something like that, which I found really helpful. Come on, sorry guys, I'm sorry for not talking that much. It's like uh, when it, I'm not really good at talking and playing games at the same time, so. This is the first time I've done this, so I guess you can sort of say it's a bit of a live commentary. So I'm finding this quite hard. Also on the top left, you 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 don't, you don't have infinite ammo. You you have to reload up every once in a while. So, like I said before, in the information which I've, in my first part, uh, it says how much how many bullets you'll get in this plane uh, every life, and every time you use them, you you have to reload. So this guy's trying to get me down now, but he raffled is there uh, helping me out trying to get rid of him and uh, he's successfully driven him away and now I'm going to help up my team by trying to get this guy so he doesn't get away whoa see like that and there are times like that where you can't do anything about it and you have to crash into the ground and just say bomb voyage you fucked so now I have one plane left and I've got to hope my team's doing really well to get rid of these. And there's, uh, we've only got half, we've only got rid of half of them. So one of the biggest tips there is, I say, try and defend. Uh, if you're by yourself, I guess try and stay around your base region. So try and stay with your attackers or try and stay with like, as many allies as possible. 
So this is one of the most rubbish planes I have. This is a... I don't even know what it is. It's that bad. <laughs> but yeah, this isn't as good. It's only got four um, four Brownings, I think. So, no, two. Or four? Two? I don't know. Yeah, he's got, he's got two. Which isn't that good. And this is my last plane. So I've got to be really careful now. Because when this is when this is blown up, it's done. I'm going to have to leave the game. And just deal with it. And I'll get the XP at the end of the game. Which is kind of annoying. But also with the thing, you have to pay to repair your vehicles and uh, buy more ammo for it, I think. I don't really know, um, I'll have to look more into that. So here this guy is trying to attack our base, Let's see if we can get him. Also I'm finding it hard to shoot him because his plane is a lot faster than mine, he's using the Spitfire right now. And basically, if the, pl the plane the further, further the plane gets, it's hard to shoot them. So this guy is 0.20 meters away from me now. No, 0.20 kilometers. But when these when these guys like a kilometer out of range, you can't shoot them at all. Until this little this little circle thing comes up in front of them, then you can't really estimate where they're going to shoot. So now, so I've got some backup. A lot of uh, my team have started to come in now, and the AA is kicking in now to shoot this guy down as well. But like I said, this t this uh, is kind of a kind of a teamwork game. Like a um, you don't have to if you don't want to, because I, I play a lot uh, quite a lot of the time, um, so I don't really cooperate. But when you need it, they they'll join in, and especially when it's near, uh, especially when it's like near the base, they'll they'll know when to help. So this guy's going down when this is. Uh, oh no, no! Oh god damn it! So basically, when that uh, when it's like beige, you when it's like light red. Or it's like unfaded red. Then they're they're dead. Uh, you can't do anything about it. So here, this is gonna have to be the end of this episode because, well, all my airplanes are destroyed now. After this, you can stay if you want to, but I don't really suggest that. You can just scroll through people's airplanes and see how they're doing and all that sort of stuff. Like this guy here, right there. Get him back. Oh, the effort. Oh. Oh, there we go. So this guy's just landed at the airbase right now. And this guy, he's going to repair because his vehicle's obviously been broken or something like that, so he's getting repaired. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of this. Uh, if if you want me to make a series, then put a comment in the section below um, of if I should. I, I won't be Great Britain. I'll be someone else you want me to. And I'll call it Let's Play War Thunder, something like that. I don't really know yet. Um... Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this mini-series that I've done. Uh, this is just insight of my views on War Thunder and some basic tips if you're just getting into it. Um, I'll put a link in the description so you can download it. It is a very fun game. I do seriously suggest you download it. Um, it's free. It's in beta at the moment. You can you can buy a premium if you want to, which basically you get a few extra stuff. Help it out so it can get a better... Uh, make it better when it comes out fully. Like I said, it's on Steam Greenlight, so if it doesn't work then... You can just do it for that. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Especially like and comment, because I love it when you like and comment. Uh, especially the comments, because I like replying. And if you have any questions or something like that, just, hit this, just mail me or put a comment down. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, too. It's free. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you guys soon with some more content.